Daddy said I'm on abuse you. It is getting real, y'all. It's getting real, sis. We TV has released the title and synopsis for episode one, and it is about to be epic. So let's dive into this a little bit deeper and see what is really going down. Welcome back to another Celebrity Reality Series review where we hone in on the black experience among celebrities, icons, and public figures. It is here in this community where we are empowered, self-aware, and motivated to identify our strengths by addressing our weaknesses. That is the power of the African American culture, which cannot be forgotten nor taken away. Let us remember that this community was built on the foundation of love between two people and has since taken a step further to expand to provide the best viewing experience. Go ahead and grab your favorite drink and let's take a dive into reality TV. Before we get into this review, don't forget to like this video and hit that subscribe button below. You can also join this channel as a member for a lifetime access to exclusive edits and reviews. Alright, alright, welcome back to another review, Queens and Kings. Just a little reminder before we get deep into this review, we will only be reporting on facts. And when I say facts, I mean the things that have been shown and stated directly from and by the cast members. However, we will have an open discussion based on those facts only. Okay, let's get into this, okay? The title of episode one is Life Off the Gram. And here is the synopsis, and we're going to break it down. Toya seeks to reconcile with her sister, Beatty and strives to unite her family together to resolve issues. Regine plans a move with her boyfriend, Armand, but a communication glitch strains their relationship. Beatty explains her unusual love life. So let's take it back a step. Let's break this down, okay? Let's start with Toya seeks to reconcile with her sister, Beatty. Keep in mind that we will be discussing family dynamics as they are presented among Toya, Regine, and their close family members and their lovers. I think I will mainly be focusing on this TV show until the season ends and then I will pick up on other shows alike. There are just a lot of important key factors that we will be diving into and it will take some time to do so. So we need to put all of our focus into this show. Okay, and that is the content that I will be bringing to you guys over the next six or seven weeks. Anyways, we have seen Toya and Beatty deal with differences four years ago on T.I. and Tiny Family Hustle, right? Well, we will get to see this again, but will it be the same? And how will they handle it this time? Last time we saw them sitting down and having a conversation about their issues. And we also see them sitting down again for a heart to heart. Now, I think the show will take a spin this time and reveal that there is a person who was involved in a romantic relationship with Beatty who started the drama. And this is where Regine is throwing punches, okay? On a positive note, we have seen Beatty and Toya since in a good space, so it is apparent that they worked it out. It is important to also note that Toya mentioned on IG Live that the show is about to air and it is like they will be living the drama all over again after they have already moved past it. I mentioned this previously in a review that they are reliving the drama but have moved on right so let's put a pin in this and revisit when the show airs the synopsis also tells us that toya strives to unite her family together to resolve issues i believe this has to do with all of the family members however we will have to wait to see the circumstances that leads to toya's mission to reunite her family 
I must admit that they are one unit and they can come back together regardless of what's thrown at them. That is what family is for. We may not always agree with our loved ones, but they are still family, so we find a way to work it out, right? Now, let's get a little deeper, guys. This is what everybody is waiting for, right? So, the synopsis also tells us that Regine plans a move with her boyfriend, Armand, but a communication glitch strains their relationship. There are several different valid points and facts that this blanket statement can be referring to right i want to remind the people in the back all relationships go through ish that is just a fact so we can't bash these people for their shortcomings that are still yet to be revealed however we may get a few solid answers that several of us have wondered about but have refrained from speculation there are a few facts that we can confidently state that this statement may be referring to. First, the attempted home invasion that occurred and Regine told us from her mouth, not hearsay, that is very important that we focus on facts, right? That Armand did not check on her. To me, this is the only fact out of a few that makes sense. If you agree, Go ahead and hit that like button for this video if you do not agree or you believe that there is something else that went that Regine is referring to or WeTV is referring to based on facts drop it down in the comments a lot of viewers will watch the show because they want answers and they want to know the status of Armine's relationship but keep in mind there are several or all cast members dealing with conflict and we will address those matters on this channel each week as they are presented. Last, Beatty explains her unusual love life. We have seen an ex-girlfriend or possible girlfriend at the time of the filming process who was in Beatty's life. However, we have seen her lately with her new boyfriend and she looks so happy we will definitely pin this and talk about it later all right i am going to be bringing some raw and uncut discussions and questions in the community section of this channel leave your feelings but bring your thoughts and opinions i just ask that we respect one another in doing so y'all take care and make sure you are subscribed for more commentary yes you don't leave until you hit that subscribe button Yes, you. <laughs> and make sure you all are in tune for the first live Red Table Talk on August 24th at 10 o'clock p.m. to discuss their first episode. Again, I'm going to be focusing deeply on the family dynamics as they are laid out in each episode. So be on the lookout for weekly reviews outside of the Red Table Talk. that is it for this video thank you for watching don't forget to tune in for more videos turn your notifications on so that you are updated on the upcoming reviews right here on black reality tv reviews much love and much light until next time bye bye